Hello YouTube, Orion Blade here, and this is Godus. Welcome. Uh, Godus is a new game or latest game from Peter Molyneux. I think that's his name. That's how he pronounced his last name. I think he is. Whoa. Let's do it like that, okay? Yes. Yes. Let's keep it off. Uh, he uh, works for 22 Cans, which is his new gaming company, and um, he was the one that started the populace or the god genre, I guess you could say. And um, he did populace black and white, uh, just to mention a few. But this is Godus. Here we are. We have a few settlers and nothing else we have nothing to do we have just a small area here and the game isn't very helpful when it comes to giving you an idea it's like how to play it tells you okay do this do this but it doesn't really explain much so the first thing you do is you clear that out so they can build an abode they were like divine intervention spirituality you follow a mood from the wilderness and i start to believe in higher power because someone helped them out with this stuff here. Uh, this book contains the history of people. We start with two lonely souls in the wilderness and ends with the conquest of space. To advance your people, you will need to collect advance cards. Without advance cards, your civilization will not be able to progress. Advance cards can sometimes be made up of elements card found in the world. In this first stage, your advance will be gained through increasing population. Good luck. Primitive Age. Uh, there's recent patch out that included Bronze Age. So, but I never gone past this. As you will see in the later part of this, is when I show you um, a part, you know, a certain after about five play hours of playing time, um, I show you what it looks like on the inside. Uh, inside, sorry. Um, you know, when you get a little bit of a development going on. At the start of Primitive Age, uh, the followers have moved to the wilderness, moved from the wild wilderness, and started to come together to live in permanent abodes. By using basic tools, forming simple communities, and expanding the population, the forest become even more advanced. And um, collection, I have nothing in the collection yet. And this is uh, what I need to do, society, science, and faith, to advance to uh, next tier, I guess. And as you see, there is a outline here. That means that they can build a house, and they can build the first type of abode here which will be a shelter and it's a fast building one it can hold three people and I have two so I guess those two can have fun and you know create a third and what I have access to down here is the faith actually when they're inside a hut they generate faith if they're outside they uh, have to have a job or they will die uh, eventually. Uh, if they complete their task before they get too tired, they will return to their abode, I think, and you will keep them alive that way. Now I, I press the, the flag there to give them orders to get outside, but I need to expand my land, which is uh, what I'm going to do here now. And um, we close this one, and the land will expand, and then I like this. What I do now is just I remove a bunch of stuff like trees and uh, stone. However, y you might want to be more careful about doing that because um, sculpt land. Okay, can we can't sculpt land? No? Uh, yes, we can. We do that like this. Um, the because once you get established a little bit, there will be so sort of like commandments, and your commandments will be based on how they uh, your citizens see you act. So right now, this is just basically what I do. I, I let them go out and establish new com housing. I need to get to six people. There is one living there out of three and there is two living here. Yeah. 
and this pulsing sound that you hear, I think that means that there will be some population increase. That means I'm close to reaching my next stage here, which is six people. I'm um, not quite sure what I will get after that. Um, I should have known because you know I've been doing this part before, but uh, right now I'm just waiting. So in the beginning there isn't much to do but wait. So depending on how when I, the, the further I got into the game, uh, the commandments were that desert is good. Uh, we don't like trees and removing stones is awesome. Not exactly those words, but that was the commandments that my uh, citizens or my, my population uh, believed to be good. Uh, like my commandments. Uh, not quite true though. Uh, we can't see it right now. But once we get over here to this area here, you know, we get up a little bit higher up, then this is going to be grassland and all that. You can see all these cards flying around here. There is cards hidden underneath. It's it's uh, cards of different natures. Okay, we have ability to expand. Okay, let's expand some more. Ta-da! Right there's a chest up here so we need them to build in this direction and as you notice they will build as soon as there is suitable flat land for their housing so we're just gonna get to this chest and there's one more there so we need to expand to 10 in population so the fl blue flag means that there are citizens inside that you can call out in, in these abodes and the, the red square circle is for uh, faith which whatever it is you're doing here it's going to cost you faith I have not unlocked anything other than sculpting land but there are things that you can do as you see um, which is very nice I never gotten that far though but now everybody's inside this one will increase in 30 seconds so we don't really need to build uh, two minutes not three minutes there we got a new card smart sculpting double clicking left and right mouse button we push a larger areas of land which is very nice which is definitely what we want to do so yeah. like I want this There we go. There. I just want them to expand in that direction. We can leave this for now so we don't build too much in this area here. Um, I wish there was a way to maybe remove this building so to get bigger ones but I think it's a good thing to have different sizes of buildings because the faith will regenerate at different ti uh, speeds. Right now it's about one minute per. Uh, but let's see with that one we just got so yeah, uh, 215 or 210 for these smaller places. We have yeah, something like that. 215. Um, closing in on the magic number 15. We just need people to move in. Now we can get them out, get started on working there. When I first played this, I released everybody out and they just died. So I like, I was up to like two, three hundred souls or citizens, and then I, you know, went back down to 150 or something like that because everybody was out. But as it is right now, I'm taking it easy. There we go. Felt tent, society card. Larger abodes can house more of your population, generate more beliefs. This is what we want to unlock. We need that. So we have a chest here where we get the felt resource card. And that unlocks the felt tents, which is now uh, tier 2 housing, I guess you could say. Yes, ta -da, unlocked. Advanced until growth period, and then we have signs and faith to go. Nice. 
So if we were to remove this like so, and let's say we make the landscape smaller, or ah, this is still okay. small housing. faith going here and the controls are a WASD and you roll the mouse to scroll out and scroll in and then you'll shift and A and D to rotate but as soon as you move a little bit it returns to default view and then shift and W and shift and S to zoom in and out and if you get too far from your settlement, you get this home up here. So instead of trying to find your way back, you just click it and returns your home. And we are one person away from expanding our territory a little bit. I hope we get to expand at this stage here. It would be nice to know. Yeah, it's a card and land expansion. Yay. Thank you very much. And we click and see what happens in there. And this one, timber resource card. That is good. I think it's somewhat safe to clear out this stuff while this my uh, followers are Why are you just making shelters? Why are you not making the bigger ones? Let's... There you go. And if you want to, you can... You're supposed to be able to... Um oh, I can't do it, but... There we go. Yes, I don't have enough faith to do that. No worries, we get it eventually. intuitive but also kind of not doing exactly what you want in the beginning there is a lot of waiting around because you use up your faith as soon as you get it um, population increase though which is nice this is a fill tent which can house five people but as you see it takes longer for it to fill up with faith so right now all of them are are you done? Okay. Well, we need to build something more. Don't have enough there. Oh. Got a small house going on there as well. Um. I guess we can do some remodeling on the outskirts of our um, ah, of our settlement. Cost a little bit of faith to do it, though. There we go. We don't want level one housing there. Ta da! Yep, move in to create a new one, something. Whatever you do. 
Okay, so this is basically the concept of the game uh, for now. As I said, it's still in beta. Or maybe I haven't said that yet. Well, it's still in beta. So, um, you have uh, a big world to play in. I don't know if any of you have been playing Minecraft, but um, this game is bigger than Minecraft in terms of uh, buildable surface. Oops. Oh well, never mind. Um, I don't know. I think uh, Saturn size. I don't know. Something like that. It's huge anyway. And you can play as much as you like offline or you know in single player without being risk someone coming in attacking you and destroying everything you've done. And then you do some multiplayer battles, you know, to get cards and things like that. I will show that later on. Um, but yeah, this is basically what it is. You seem to be starting at the same spot every time, or time passes while you're not playing. So if I were to stop playing now, uh, quit the game, these would still, you know, start together or continue together. Faith and and the citizens will still move in until they're full. And um, ah, science card, one felt and three timber. I have one timber. Okay, which means I need to find stuff, right? And for me to continue now is just to expand, basically. Um, what I was saying was that, yeah, the citizens will keep moving in until the housing is full. And um, I can just keep giving them orders, move out a few at a time. Oh, there's a chest there. I didn't see that. A timber resource card. Ta-da! Now we have two. And you can change the height and uh, things like that as you see fit. There is something over here. I need to expand in this direction to unlock that card. It's just not a chest hidden underneath. I don't know how deep down it is. Uh, it could be just believe, believe beneath that layer or it could be even further down but as you see the map is huge we're moving far far away a lot of water ah, seems to have ended there or it's a trench of sorts mm, haven't seen that before maybe the map hasn't been drawn out yet because I'm not expanded as far. Something inside a volcano what it looks like. Archipelagos or that's one way to pronounce it. So you can go in different directions. There's wildlife, wolves and stuff to attack or attack you and kill you. You probably need the cards uh, discovery cards to uh, unlock hunting and gathering but in the beginning, you know, this is the, as we can see in the book here, is the primitive age, establishment period, then we have the growth period, expansion period, conquest period, and you have all the way to space age, so it's a game that will last a long, long time. But for now, I will uh, show you what it looks like after five hours of gameplay, so uh, see you guys soon. Bye for now. And welcome back. Uh, this is about after five hours of playing. There's a soul disappearing up there. He died. Um, <coughs> as you can see, I now have uh, these uh, city centers. They cost, uh, the first one cost 5,000, second one 7,500, and the last third one 10,000, and then from then on, you have to pay with gems to get them. Yeah, I have 91 gems left. And what Citizeners does is, uh, as you can see, it, it brings roads to here. So I just grabbed um, um, Faith, I guess you can call it. 
of all the housing connected to the city center. And those that is not connected, I have to collect by hand. There's been an update to this one right now, which means that you know you only a few clicks instead of five clicks, which was before, to clear out these rocks and such. I have a few housing that um, I am building, or I'm gaining population. I need uh, six more to get a new card. And since I let that person out, I let that one and that one out as well. Build in this direction. I should be able to expand. And then I can expand here. As you can see, there are some th cards hidden underneath here. Either um, the cards that allow me to uh, build certain items, like this uh, center here and all that. There's also some... Um, what do you call it? There's some gem mines around here. Haven't found them yet. Don't quite know where they are. Um, I think it's somewhere north, but uh, yeah. So this is what it looks like for me after five um, hours of playing. Uh, there is really no way to restart as of yet. So what? to do is to, to go to uh, and remove some files. I don't know exactly where they are but you can read about that on the Steam community. So I'm just waiting for this house to be built. A and yeah, and that should get me up to 500 and I should be able to um, access one of the cards here. Three advances until expansion return. Expansion period. But I don't yeah got a few of these here. I've used them. Uh, animal furs. Still have some collections left. I had five times meat. I haven't used that one yet. I got some flint. Three times flint. One times kindling. So a neat trick is if you uh, right click and hold you see uh, it's about Shortly there will be a population. Now it's full. Uh, 5 out of 5 and it takes about 26 more minutes before uh, there is some faith to gather from here. This one though. Oops. I have a bunch of faith now. The sound volume is very high. I wonder if I could... Um, dialogue. I don't know what that is. Well, I do know what dialogue is, but I haven't really found... There we go. 497. Let's see what happens. Let's see which card we get. Um, you can see the slight outlines here. Different sizes of buildings. Uh, you need to advance to... Uh, be allowed to or be able to build pull that back a bit like that maybe out a bit like so no it's a number two there so <coughs> sorry about that here we go uh, 137 before that one is done. I could waste one of those um, diamonds to get it finished by now. Uh, it's quite a big game. As you can see, um, I am not doing much multiplayer. Uh, I've done a few of those um, battles that you come across. But only a few. I I can attack or battle Amy X or Amy. Um, so let's do that and see what happens. She has full. Okay, let's go.
Okay. It's been a while since I did this, so I'm not quite sure how to do it. up there so I need to get up there let's just remove this as much as we can come on little buddy couple of houses there. Gathering more of them. Definitely need a uh, wake up. Can't have you rest. See what can I do. Place totem. Sure, let's place it over here. And we do a little bit, there we go, a little bit bigger. Send them out. I have s one more than she does. And uh, we deactivate the totem. So to get started. Oh, he died. Oh, he died. That's not good. They die when you don't have uh, tasks for them. And. Or they can't complete the task that you give them. Something like that. Okay. Now we move the totem to here. And we send everybody out. Come on, go this way. Activate the totem. We'll make it definitely make it more easier or easier with that. And let's do some combat. Deactivate. Go and destroy. Destroy, destroy. There you go. Health bar. Attack them, attack them. Seem a bit sluggish here. Activate the totem. Like 
so. Okay. Start building the forward base. Well, that's some major construction going on there. Destroy the enemy civilization. Settlement place in that one. As you see, it spreads out and hook up all of these here eventually, I think. Yeah, it does. That way, I only need to click that one. Place the totem here instead. Down to 13. Cool, cool. Need to give them some strength here. You as well. Okay. Activate the totem. Here we go. There should be plenty. Keep running. Need you there. Whoa. Ah, we took it over. Nice. They activate the totem. Destroy that one. Down to six. And I increase my numbers. Nice. You can do this like three times, I think, per uh, of your citizens. Give them some extra boost. Down to four, and that should be this one. And this should be a win. Two. One. Done. I won. Follower tribe, good god card. Follower return from battle, come to live in your home world. Nice. Copper idol, 1000 beliefs. As a god, you are only as powerful as your belief that is bestowed on you. Nice. Plaster, very nice. Resource card. And another animal furs resource card. So I've done like three battles, and I got a bunch of. Followers coming here, moving in, hopefully. The music was a little bit loud in the combat section of this, but... Mm, 479, lost some... Yeah. Just need to get them out. The, the trick is not to get all of them out, which I'm currently doing for some reason, I don't know why. But anyway, this is the game, as it is right now anyway. It's still in beta, so there will be changes. Um, a lot of clicking going on, but on the other hand, it's intuitive, I think, because you don't really have to remember a lot of controls. It's left click, right click, uh, right hold, and then you have the, the WAST key, and then a shift. A and D and WAST. Ooh, that's one of those. New guys. There I got. I got some white cleared people. So I like the game. And I like that it's easy to do in in a way. 
uh, a builder shrine I just want them to build over here as well but um, I guess I can place a totem here and you know see do we have any coming over there no well maybe he is anyway um, I'm f worried that this might take uh, ex spend on my time or you know make a long episode so I will actually end the episode here um, well uh, I, we can do this get started on this totem building here it's totem oh he seems sluggish let's perk him up a little bit and deactivate the totem sluggish and then we activate the totem now. You have orders. Oh, it's definitely sluggish. Definitely sluggish. Yay, run over here. Build a shrine. Takes five minutes. Or we finish it now. We finished it. So we get a card. And it says, beautify. Got card. Remove blighted. Land from landscape by dragging your cursor across it, watching it bloom into health. Uh, this looks like by the land. I don't know how to use that card. Let's see, where is it? Collection. There we go. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Beautify. Ooh, nice. Family society card. Two unlocks. Six of that, one of that, one of that. Uh, effect increased birth rate for all abodes leads to debate. Early humans live in blah, 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 blah. Okay, nice. We have those. We had those. We didn't have the uh, last one. But hey, beautify. Yes, I like the way it looks now. There we go. Yep. Statue speed and uh, champion. We need. Nope. I haven't unlocked that one yet. So, yeah. This is the way it is. Uh, I didn't get to expand. Um, but I will eventually. Oh, this one looks nice. Yay, we get some, I guess, butterflies. Anyway, um, I will end here. So. This was just a quick look of Godus, uh, our goddess, and uh, I'm Obron Blade, and thank you for watching. Bye bye.